Mm-hmm. I'm not feeling a lot of y'all. Some days don't be feeling me. But so what? I can cry about it later. I have to work. I gotta get up and work, okay? We can cry about it while we're working. <laughs> But we're not going to let it stop us from working, okay? I've been in a relationship for a very long time and he did a lot of damage, okay? But I overcame that and I became a stronger person. It would have been like, is that turkey banging or pork? It's pork, okay? You like that sauce, don't you? I'll put you on. I'll put you on with that. I got a package from Plug Cosmetics Co. So we're about to get her products together really quick before we get into the video. So don't 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 skip past this now. Don't don't skip past this. You wait. So anyway. I really like the packaging for it. Look at this. Ah. So, you know what? I need some beauty blending, so I'm glad that I could try these. So, I got pink, black, and I got like a peach color. And they all came in a case that's a plug cosmetics coat. I know that's right, girl. Brand yourself. So, now, look at this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm fat. That don't mind me so them, them gains is gaining okay okay so we're gonna open the extra glam vault first so this is the extra glam vault Ooh, this is nice so inside you have uh -uh. my bad y'all so inside you have two four six pair of lashes I like the styles of these lashes. Um, you have your lash glue and you have your lash applicator. I always use the applicator to apply my lashes. I really like these lashes. I think the, my favorite one will be this one at the top. This one. I really like those. Those are cute. I'm gonna have to try those on. Born with it lashes. I really like this case. This is really cute and different. And then these are gonna be your smaller, natural looking lashes. See, and you know what? I need natural looking lashes, so some days I won't have to wear, like today. I didn't really wanna put on no long lashes today, so I could put on something like this, and it'll give like a natural vibe. I don't know what this is, but whatever. So it'll give like a natural vibe, and even throw on a, a little bit of mascara, and then it'll make them kind of a little bit more bold, but I definitely need some um, short lashes like this and like some natural looking lashes. I really like these, y'all. I really, really like these lash cases. Super duper cute. So for these lash cases right here in my hand that I just showed y'all, Plug Cosmetics Co. will be offering 50% off for a subscription. And a free gift if you use code Bougie. That's B-O-U-J-E-E. -E. So 50% off for first subscription, first time subscription, and then you get a free gift as well using code Bougie. So make sure when you go check out, you use code B-O-U-J-E-E, -E, okay? Period. The, the subscriptions are sent out every three months. So keep that in mind, they're sent out every three months. So make sure you subscribe, you know, to get 50% off. And um, also these lashes, are vegan um, mink lashes. So these are vegan, 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 the way I was about to say it. These are vegan mink lashes. Don't forget that, vegan mink lashes. Hold on. Ooh. So these are vegan mink lashes and then you have the glue inside as well and the applicator. And these don't last you a minute, so whether you buy this case or this case, it doesn't matter. Three pair of lashes last a long time if you know how to take care of your lashes, okay? Period, like, that's just, that's just what it is. Like, I know these things. All the information on this company, this beautiful company, is going to be in my description box below. So make sure y'all go support her. Check out her Instagram page. Make sure y'all follow her, support her. Check out her website. Go shop with her. We have to support each other, like I always tell y'all, in order to be successful. 
that's just what it is. And you have to support others in, in order to see, you know, the support coming back to you. You can't want support and not give it. So always keep that in mind and make sure y'all go shop Plug Cosmetics Co. Okay, all the information gonna be in my description box below. And let's go ahead and get into this vlogmas number three. I love y'all, enjoy. Hey, Bougie Bay, this is the Barbie, and I am back with another video. If you're a returning subscriber, hey! If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and join the Bougie Crew, because it's Bougie around the way, period. So, I just woke up, well, probably about, I actually woke up at like an hour ago, but I laid down for a little bit, and then I took a shower, and all that. So, but, these next 11, 12 days, whatever, crucial, okay? Because I have to do my 12 days of sleeping blog miss i'm already on day three i'm already on day three and it feels good to you know be consistent and actually work towards something that you know you want to do so it's just like i don't care i don't care what happens i will be doing 12 days of vlogmas i will make it to the end of 12 days of vlogmas it might be a little tough because i'll be doing so much but I just gotta remember, pick up your camera, pick up your camera, okay? Videos will not be super long though, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. I woke up very excited though today because I hit 119,000 subscribers. Stop playing with me. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I hit 119,000 subscribers. I said the B word. I gotta watch my mouth. But first, stop playing with me. I hit 119K. 200,000, I'm coming for you. And it's just, you know, these milestones I'm just hitting are just amazing. So I decided, you know, this morning, I think before my first call, actually my first call was at 10 a.m., but she didn't answer. So my next call, not until 12.30, so I'm about to make me some breakfast, and we're gonna just eat breakfast this morning and just kind of chat. Um, I'm gonna make some coffee first, also, we're gonna wash some clothes because I have clothes, like y'all, I hate washing clothes because of the simple fact I hate folding them. I'm about to get a maid just to fold and hang up my clothes. That's how lazy I am when it comes to washing clothes. Like I just, I, I don't like it. So, and then they wanna remind me about rent today because it's December 1st. Do not be reminding me about no rents, baby. If I'm a pain, I'm a pain. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> so that's the tea. Don't remind me about no rent. Who is you reminding about some rent? Everybody in the world knows it's the first. Everybody know the first means rent. Okay. Anyway, so let's um come in here. Because we got to put these clothes in the washer. And then we're going to make some coffee. And then, yeah. Look at this pile. You see this pile? I don't like to wash clothes. I don't like to fold clothes. I've even washed towels and they've been in this dryer for like three or four days. This is just beyond me. Or um, tomorrow, we'll see. But I definitely need a Christmas cup, Christmas mug to get in, you know, the spirit with you guys. I need to wash dishes, but I'm not going for nothing today. I'm not. I can tell you that much. Duncan or Starbs? Which one? Duncan or Starbs? Hmm. Let's do Duncan again today. I think I'm on. Um, I need to um wash the dishes, y'all. It's only a few, but I don't like this. 
bitches, they give me advice, like, and then, yeah, I'm about to just run some water and let them sit, but I'm not gonna wash them yet, because I don't even have no bleach. My mom used the rest of my bleach and she cleaned out my house the other day, and she didn't even tell me. But I'm gonna put them in some, um, some hot water. Material world! Hold that out. Peoples. Material world. So we're using this um, French vanilla. Um, this is my favorite creamer. I haven't really tried any other ones. I tried the pumpkin spice one and it's still full. I don't really like it. Um, yeah. Y'all be trying to be cute, putting a little tap tap. Mm -mm. Me, I gotta drown my coffee, y'all, because I just, I can't. It has to be sweet. It has to. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm getting off track, I gotta cook, come on. That's better. So, hold on. Let's check the exact. Let's check the exact amount for um, subscriber count because yesterday I was at 1,118. Here it is, right here. Yesterday I was at 118,972. Yesterday, before I went to sleep. So if I refresh this right now, so oh look at that revenue. Look at that revenue. So so this is last night. Woke up. Ah! <laughs> Yo, what? Stop fucking playing with that girl. I can't even focus with y'all, but stop playing with that girl. Stop playing with that girl. She is not one of them. Not one of them. She not one of them. Let's fucking go, Bar. Y'all, I gotta get this consistency shit tatted, bro. I, I, I've been going to fuck up, like. I've been being so consistent. Y'all don't understand. Like, some days, I'm not feeling a lot of y'all. Some days, don't be feeling me. But, so what? So what? It's like, I don't be feeling it some days, but I know I gotta do what I gotta do. I know I gotta do, I still gotta work, you know? It's just like me clocking in, but not really clocking in. So it's just like, some days, when I used to go to work, when I used to work a nine to five, I hated going to work some days, especially when I was in my feelings or especially when I was mad about something that happened the previous day or sad about something that happened the previous day, but I still have to get up and go to work, right? I still have to get up and go to work. So even though I work for myself, I still have to get up and work. Even though I work from home, even though I work for myself, I can do whatever I want to do, I still gotta go get up and work. I don't care if, you know what I'm saying? I don't care how I'm feeling. I don't care if I'm super duper drunk. <laughs> or whatever the case may be, I have to get up at work. I have to make money. I have a family to feed. Like, ugh. That's food stinks. Like, I still gotta get up and work. Like, I remember this girl, she DM'd me the other day and she was like, she was like, um, oh, she was like, do you ever get depressed? Like, do you ever get depressed? And um, how do you how do you wake up every morning and you know work and like, do you ever feel like like I don't know? She was just asking me, do I ever be sad or be depressed and all this other stuff? And I'm like, of course we all have our days. But one thing about me, I don't let 
Cause I've let it happen before. I don't let um stuff that brings me down or makes me sad, I don't let it um control my day. Um now I might be mad all throughout that day or I might be sad all throughout that day, but I can't let it control my day, my work that I have to get done. I can cry about it later. I have to work. I gotta get up and work, okay? We can cry about it later. We can cry about it while we're working. <laughs> but we're not gonna let it stop us from working, okay? So just always keep that in mind. And the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I used to be that girl and I, I became so much stronger and I've grown so much. Um, and I, like I used to get like, long time ago, like before I used to work for myself, before I became like bougie Barbie, um, I used to be sad and I would close myself in the room all day. I wouldn't talk to nobody. I would just literally be upset and cry and not wanna do nothing. But I've learned that we can't do that. We can't let people see us down. We can't be, stay down because life is short. We have to live, we have to be happy and we have to get back up and try and we have to get back up and just, what I do, what I do, what I do is I pray through. If I'm going through something, I pray through it. Like, I, I honestly feel like prayer works. Prayer has got me through a lot. Like, praying and talking to God has got me through so much. And also talking to my mom, like, that's how I've gotten through so many obstacles in my life, is having somebody to talk to. You have to have somebody to talk to. Um, and if you, if you don't have nobody to talk to, talking to God is amazing, because that's what I do sometimes. If I don't want to talk to my mom sometimes, I just talk to God and be like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel better, because I actually feel like he's really listening to me. So, but like I said, a long time ago, like when I was in, when I first moved out, it was like in 2015, and I was going through a lot, like with my past relationship, which I was in a relationship for a very long time, and he did a lot of damage, okay? But I overcame that and I became a stronger person. That relationship made me grow and realize, and moving from my hometown also made me grow and just get away from all the negativity. And it just made me, it really just, it helped, it helped mold me. So I wouldn't say I regret anything. I don't regret anything that I've been through in the past because it molded me into who I am today. And it helped me become a stronger person. It helped me, just look at things different. Like I said, I used to be so sad. <laughs> my mama used to come to my room and cuss me out for crying. <laughs> Y'all know, just, just think about bougie see me cry, cuss me out. Why is you in this room crying all my life? You, but you know what I'm saying? She used to do all that. But she, and she helped me grow too, cause she would always tell me like, girl, why are you sitting here crying and this and that? Like you are going to be amazing. You're going to be great. You gonna look at all this stuff from your past and laugh, and it's so true. Like everything I've been through in my past, I just laugh at it. Like, wow, I can't believe I went through this. I can't believe I was in my room crying like that. I can't believe I had, I was closed up in my room all day. Didn't want to go to work. Calling in work. Calling in work. Cause I was so sad. And it's okay. We get there. We get. We have those days. But we have to overcome that, and we have to learn how to be stronger, and we have to just breathe. Breathe. Cause things happen in life, but you always have to think like, there's people going through worse, worse than what you're going through right now. Think of it like that, there's people who are going through worse. Like, sometimes people be crying about, you know, they lights being turned off or something, but it's people, like life said, it's people without, like, you crying about the light bill, but it's people without lights. It's people that's living outside. It's people that's living in the cold, in the rain, in the heat. They have beds outside. You got a bed in your room. You have to be grateful, you have to be thankful, you have to think of the bigger picture. And I know sometimes, like I said, we do go through stuff to where we feel like nothing else matters but us. But, you know, but yourself. You feel like, okay, I don't care, I'm going through something. But sometimes you just, sometimes you have to think of like the bigger picture and think about somebody else's like um, situation and just know that your situation is, is something you can overcome. Like, if you want to break up, that's something you can overcome. That's something that's easy. I mean, if you've been in, for, it, I, 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 hold on, I can't say it's easy because my breakup a long time ago, it wasn't easy, but I eventually got through it. It took me some time, but like I said, it's something that you can overcome. I remember one thing my ex did tell me though that I always remember is he told me that pain is temporary. So 
every time I don't think about him but when I'm thinking about something that has hurt me or something that just upsets me I just think of pain is temporary I'm not gonna go through this for long I might be sad for two or three days but it or I might be sad for a week or a month, but I'm gonna eventually get over it, you know? You'll eventually get over it. I'm not gonna keep preaching, uh, preaching to y'all today because that's not what we're here to talk about. So, I'm here to enjoy my day. And um, I'm supposed to be making me some breakfast because I gotta call it 12.30. So let me try to make me some food. Um, But yeah. We'll, we'll have a deeper conversation about that, about when I first moved out, it's like my journey and everything that I went through and what, we, what really made me move from my hometown. We'll get deeper into that later on, okay? I'm just giving y'all little snippets, but y'all don't really know a lot. But later on, we'll get into more deeper conversations, okay? So just put a pen in, put a bookmark right here. <laughs> I don't got no food, y'all. I need to go to the grocery store. I'm always eating out, like. And I usually do be having food. That's the crazy part. I got a roast in here. Maybe some bacon and eggs. Oh, I got a chicken breast in here from the other day that I didn't make. I can make me. Yeah, so we just have to make some quick little bacon and eggs, nothing special. <laughs> I'm just very excited for what's to come in 2022. We were supposed to be eating breakfast and talking, but I'm just talking to y'all now. So, but I'm just very, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm very grateful. And I appreciate everybody that's been, you know, Holding it down for the bar, riding with the bar. You're very appreciated. Yes, I eat pork. <laughs> Y'all be asking random questions. Like, somebody would have seen this bacon and would have been like, is that turkey bacon or pork? It's pork, okay? It's pork. Yes, I eat pork, okay? No, I don't care. Y'all know that's my favorite thing to say. Cause I don't. Alexa, play what? I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to third person. Was that third person? <laughs> um, eggs. Seasoning for eggs. Just put a little salt and pepper. Y'all know what be good in eggs though? Like tomatoes and like spinach. But I don't have no. I have tomatoes, but I don't have spinach. So, and I don't want just tomatoes and eggs. <clears throat> Well, I'm about to cook. I'm about to play me some music and I'm about to cook. I'm about to play Tink Winter's Diary 3 because it's December 1st. I love that song. And it's kind of like a mood right now because I actually kind of met this person that I like. But he, it's mutual. It's actually mutual. But it's just like, we've been friends for a minute. So it's not that like we just met. We've been knowing each other for a while. But I don't know where it could go. I don't know because we, we were so used to just being friends. But we kind of got this like spark for each other and we just said that we could try it out so we just right now we just kind of going with the flow um it's not nothing serious but i'm liking it <laughs> i'm liking it but anyways alexa play tink winter's diary 3 explicit i couldn't find winter's diary 3 by tink but here is other music by tink oh she don't have it okay let me connect to my phone Pause. Alexa, connect to my phone. Searching. Now connected to Bougie Barbie. Crown. That's all we needed. This is the song right here. Alexa, volume 10.
Okay, y'all. So I'm about to take this call. So I'm about to call my 1230. After this call, I'm gonna go ahead and head to my bougie house because I'm not trying to be there all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and go early. So I can take product pictures and leave early. Vlogmas is lit. This is just a morning with bougie Barbie. What I do, typical when I wake up, you know. But yeah, okay. Um, I see y'all. Oh, 
You been getting in trouble, huh? Oh, Bella, what's wrong? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. That's your favorite song.